Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to allocate transactions from your bank feed in your Xero software. You will have transactions with money coming into your account and out of your account. And today, what I'm going to show you for the money in is how to allocate that to a sales invoice that you've already entered in the software, as well as how to allocate directly to the categories. For the money going out, I'm going to show you how to allocate this payment to a purchase invoice that you've already entered within the software. And again, how to categorize it direct to the accounts. I'll also show you how to deal with transfers between different bank accounts. So into the Xero dashboard. Firstly, we're going to decide which bank account we're going to work on. And we're going to be working on the business bank account. So click here, what it tells you, there's 29 items waiting to be reconciled. So let's start with the money's in. So here you can see Zero has already highlighted that it thinks that this money in belongs to this invoice already entered in the software. I'm just going to click, click find a match just to show you how you would search if the invoice isn't straight away matched. So then you can see all the, all the invoices that are outstanding will load and you can use the search function either by name or invoice number or the amount to identify the invoice that you want. So here, this is the invoice that Zero did think was the one that was being paid. So we just simply select the box and you can select that for multiple invoices if there's more than one being paid at the time and then we're going to click reconcile here that then enters that transaction marks that invoice paid and updates your balance sheet in your account so let's look at money coming in that isn't relating to a sales invoice and just needs categorizing directly within the accounts let's say here this transaction of two thousand pounds let's imagine that is some payment in advance. So here we select the customer. And if you start typing, the customers that are already in your software will come up. What's it for? So we're going to say that we want this to be allocated to income in advance. It's really important when you allocate transactions directly to the categories that you understand and make sure that you're allocating to the right type of category. So for example, in this scenario, money in is going to an income code. So we're going to click that. And let's say that there's no VAT on that in the event that your VAT registered. So if we just simply select OK, that transaction has now been moved across into the account. So you'll see that if you have more than one page, you can navigate between them at the bottom. So let's look here at uh, an invoice, um, purchase invoice payment. And again, Zero has identified correctly the invoice, but as before, you can see all of the invoices down here should you require. So we're just going to OK to allocate that payment to that purchase invoice and update that in our accounts. So here you can see Central City Parking. So we haven't entered an invoice for that, a purchase invoice. We're just going to allocate this directly. There's not actually a hard and fast rule as when you must enter a purchase invoice. That would simply be when you want to track the balance outstanding with the supplier. So let's who put who we're paying the money to. What is the money being paid for? So this is going to be travel. Now, always when you're entering, even though you're entry categorizing directly, you should always have the paperwork in front of you, either the invoice or the receipt. And if you're VAT registered, you should be taking the VAT detail from there. So we're going to cross out of that. OK, that and that's going to put the money directly into that category in your account. So here let's just imagine that this is a transfer i can't show you this one fully but if we select the transfer box then you can see that you select the 
the account that you're transferring to or from and that will just enter the transaction directly into your account. Now at this stage, I am going to suggest that you try to use the categories that are already set up in your Xero software. However, should you need to add new categories, I will in a different video show you how to do that. I hope this helps, but of course, if you have any questions, queries, or encounter any difficulties and need further help, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.